This is my baby. Say hello to the audience, baby. Look at him, look at his feet. Look at those, look at those little feet. Now this is what I call a big boy. <clears throat> So what's up beautiful people? Today we've got a bit of a different video. It's going to be a mix of things I hate and getting the truth out of there. Also do you like my Lady Maria uh, Magic the Gathering cards? I like Lady Maria. Sorry for having a bit of a fucked schedule for uploading. That's going to be the case for a bit longer because I'm going to the States after this video. Yippee. However, when I am in the States, I'm going to be conducting my own research. Because me and my audience have found something out and it's terrible, it's terrible people. We have been fooled, there will be no brainwashing under my watch. So me and a bunch of people on the Discord server have conducted our own research and created a PowerPoint presentation on the reasons to why Canada is not real. Now, I have to give Triffy a lot of credit here as he has created the PowerPoint presentation, but I'll credit all those who have helped to bring us to this conclusion. Because we've got a lot of smart scientists in the Discord server I just did not know about. So I'm very proud. But also, by the way, if you do enjoy this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing because that really does motivate me to make more bullshit like this. I mean, not bullshit, scientific research. Anyway, good afternoon. I will be Professor Spooksy. And today in my class, we're going to be learning about Canada, or are we? So if you'd all like to get your notebooks out and pencils and take some notes on this, because this is important shit. Anyway, how do I do this? Oh, 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 here we go. I hope this is big enough. Can you guys still see me? Hello. Canada is a hoax. It is false. Let me just get my laser pointer out, actually. Okay, let's begin this week's presentation. I'll give you points for the bird effect, that was very clever of you. That's when you know we're dealing with true, smart people. So our first point to make is Canada is actually China. Now if you don't understand what I mean by this, I mean China and America, they don't like each other, they, 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 grr, angry. So wouldn't it be convenient if China was Canada? Wouldn't it just be so convenient? For China to be able to be right above America, so not only are they above America, metaphorically, but they also are physically. And they can use that to spy on the Americans. Wake up, people! So as you can see here, this is what it actually looks like if you actually just fucking look for yourselves. And this line, this very straight line, was man-made by the China people. But anyway, let, let's see what other discoveries we've found, because this is truly horrifying. There's 14? Jesus, Trippy, you've done a lot of work. Okay, so this is, this is the alternative. <laughs> this is the alternative. So just in case that it's not China, it could be Iraq. Now that's our second guess. That's what um, our scientists are kind of saying. If they want their people not to worry, then what we're going to do is we're going to tell them that we're nice, friendly Canadians. If you want to subscribe to our online courses for uh, World Economics, then uh, £5 a month, let me know. As Axol- Oh, you've actually put these in there for us. Okay, so as Axol has suggested for us, Canada's fake. You can tell because look at these very straight lines. Who the fuck put that there? And also this guy, who even is he? He like, makes food. Now, if we actually look uh, and we dig into the Prime Minister a little bit more, in fact, I have to show you guys this because this is actually the most horrifying thing that I've discovered. Axel is our top investigator. Here's, here's what he's given us. Now, if that doesn't prove anything, I don't know what would. They're so similar! Anyway. And if it was real, why would there be so many people saying it's not real? Anyway, we've got some more proof from Dirty Guy. Oh, and if you want some context for Dirty Guy, uh, here, here he is. Here's Dirty Guy. As I say, I pride myself on having a community of smart, intelligent individuals. The government made up this land. You can see the ocean if you live in one of the Midwest states. Isn't that convenient? 
Great Lakes? More like ocean. Like, what the fuck even is a Great Lake? That's just made up bullshit. It's just the ocean in disguise. The liberals are getting so smart, Joe Biden would never want us to know this. So if this video gets taken down, you know who's been up to it. So Canada, in quotation marks, is a lie. And Russia and the USA could invade Canada. That's another good point, actually. If it existed, why wouldn't they have invaded it? It makes no logical sense. It's like free land sitting there and no one is invading it because there's nothing to invade. It's kind of soul crushing to think I live in a world where people are just going to lie about Canada existing. So this is the this is the kind of the meat of our findings. This is the Prime Minister of Canada. But let's take a closer look at him, shall we? See this haircut? Very fuck boyish, huh? Slenderman. I'm thinking that's meant to be Slenderman, but uh, you know, I had a German make this for me, so uh, sorry for all the typos. Know what fuckboys do? They lie. Why do fuckboys lie? Because they want to get laid. So this guy is lying about Canada so he can have sex with Joe Biden. Wake the fuck up! See these bulging veins? So because I'm a schmycologist, I understand that when people lie, the heart tends to go a wee bit. So the fact that his bulging veins are showing in his head shows that he's under a lot of pressure right now. Why could that be? Maybe because he's lying. Maybe because he wants to have lots and lots of passionate sex with Joe Biden. Does this make sense now? What's more realistic? A man making up a country so he can have sex with Joe Biden? Or he's actually the Prime Minister of Canada? And he's got a Squidward nose, and if you know, Spongebob, you will know that Squidward is a squid. And what do squids make? They make ink. And what is ink used for? It's used to write letters. And what are letters used for? They're used to write lies. Further proving the point that this guy is a dirty squid, bulging vein, fuckboy liar. And he's got a Roblox tie. Anyway, let's continue. United States? United States? Where's the thing in the middle? Where is it? If it was there, why is it not showing up? Now if you can't see, there's big red arrows here to show us what we're talking about here. And again, Greenland right next to it. How come I've never seen a Greenlandian talk about Canada? And why haven't they invaded Canada? Look how easy it would be. They'd have to they'd make a little boat and they'd go over and fight the Canadians. And so would the United States. They're cornered. Uh, by the end of this video, if you're not convinced already, I'm questioning your intelligence. Now, I don't know who made this, um, but uh, another explanation of what could be there is Jellyland. Let's just move on. Arguments that speak for Canada existing. So this is this is when we're doing like scientific studies like this, we always have to think about the other side, and the other side would have things like reasons for the thing actually existing. So what we've tried to do is we've tried to replicate that and we found nothing. Doesn't that cause alarm bells to go off in your head? It does for me. And trust me, Canadians, this ain't looking good for you. So if I go to my YouTube channel, I asked you guys, don't look at that. I asked you, oh, we went up a few subscribers. Make sure to like and subscribe. Well done. Thank you, guys. Uh, not that cat, but here. Now, you guys responded to this very positively as well. So this is living fucking proof. Deject here. As someone who has lived there for a while, I can confirm that, in fact, does not exist. It's just what Big Maple wants you to believe. Classic corporations getting involved to spread lies in order to sell their stuff. As a Canadian, this person can also confirm my statement that Canada is not real. Canada is fake, for real guys. Legally, Canada holds no title to their further land. Canadians don't hold title. I don't know what that means, but it means something. Canada is just a pyramid scheme. Oh my god, it makes so much sense. Big Maple have made a pyramid scheme to get more people to believe in Canada so that the Prime Minister of Canada can have sex. Holy shit. Guys, I'm gonna have to put on my bullshit glasses because honestly, I have to see through these lies.
when you go to war with Canada. From our research, we looked into TV programs which we would like to spread the propaganda. One of being Phineas and Ferb. These lies being spread to children in order to get them to believe that Canada is real so that they buy maple syrup from it is disgusting. It's indoctrination. And finally, let's end off the slideshow real quick by uh, this statement from Triffy, which is it's, it's really thought provoking. And it makes me understand why this is a big issue in the first place. First to say that Canada is real in my comment section is gay. And not that, not in a good way, in a bad way. Because it's really important that I educate my subscribers so that we can all be better people. Very thought provoking. Fucking Germans. So we did have a few issues in the server when we were exposing Canada. Uh, I don't want to go into detail about it because uh, let's just say some people got a little bit angry. I say some people, I mean like one or two. The truth being exposed, so that only tells me that we're trying to hide something. It's the only logical explanation I can get. Before I close off this video, I would like to uh, suggest that maybe, if you did enjoy this video, and you want to support the channel, then we have merch in the description below. We also have a Patreon, but, but you have to be 18 and above to subscribe to that thing. Why don't you let me know down in the comments also what you think about this? And also sorry for the weird upload schedule, because I'm back home, it's a bit harder to record, therefore it's a bit harder to make videos, and I'm away on holiday next week, so there'll be no video next week as well, I'm so sorry. But you guys have a fantastic Femboy Friday, and I will see you guys, not next week, because I'm going to be in a different country, looking at why Canada does not exist. Goodbye.